Hello my family members, today we have come with an on-demand topic for Accenture on-campus drive that is common application and MS Office. Actually coding questions might be available outside but this subject is not available. That's why in this video we will discuss two premium practice sets, right? If you have not downloaded the practice set including abstract reasoning, logical reasoning then download it from the link given in the description box. Okay, let's see what are the questions. So the first question is this view dash view is not present in powerpoint please pause the video and try to give the answer in comment section okay the answer will be actually slide sorter view is not present in powerpoint actually these three types of views are present in powerpoint slide show normals and outline view right these views are present in powerpoint okay the next question is the space between the margin and the text is called what line spacing paragraph spacing indent and index what will be the answer okay let me answer that the answer is actually indent right actually indent or indentation is the increase or decrease of space between the left right uh, margin of a paragraph right so the answer will be indent okay the next question is what is meant by document area in microsoft word so i am not reading the options please choose the correct option among them and give me the answer in the comment section right don't forget to answer okay let me answer that actually the option one will be the correct in this case the uh, actually the document area is the area where the user types the text in word document right it is a blank section of a word processor so the correct option of this question is this right okay the next question is which of the following term is related with legends in ms excel uh, clip art word art operator chart i will not answer this question this will be a quiz question for you please pause the video and give me the answer right Let's see who gives the answer first. Okay, the next question is which of the following is a valid MS Excel function? Add, minus, sum, or subtract? I hope you have operated these functions in your MS Excel, right? Okay, some of you have confused, uh, I mean, some of, some of you are confused because uh, you might have not used MS Excel uh, broadly, right? Okay, let me answer that actually only valid option in this case is sum actually we can subtract uh, any uh, two cells by just writing is equal to and cells one minus cell two and we don't have to actually define this function subtract or minus right or add so the correct option in this case will be sum right okay the next question is in cut paste operation of ms word a text can be cut and paste exactly once or a text can be cut and paste multiple times or a text can can't be put can't be cut if a background color is set a text can't be cut if its length is more than 128 characters what is the true statement among these options okay i hope you have uh, paused the video and tried to solve right okay let me answer that the correct option in this case is option 2, right? A text can be cut and paste multiple times. Actually, whatever user cut or copy, the copy data using cut or copy command, the data is saved to clipboard. And the clipboard is a virtual holding area and the clipboard uh, history keeps track of the data user work with, right? So, the option 2 is the correct answer in this case okay the next question or the seventh question is dash is the blank space outside the printing area on a page margin header footer or clipper okay before we answer the question i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus preparation and accenture cognitive assessment preparation right okay the answer will be in this case is margin right 
I'm not explaining this is very simple questions, right? Okay, the next question is which shortcut key is used to move to the previous worksheet? I hope you have a little knowledge about shortcut keys, right? So in this case, the correct option is control page up, right? To move to the previous worksheet, right? Okay, the next question is which of the following view options in ms word shows the contents of a document is bulleted files right draft web layout outline print layout what will be the correct options in this case okay i hope you have an answer in your mind let's check if you are right or not okay so in this case the correct option is outline view right actually the outline view also shows the outline of the documents organization right okay the next question is this in ms powerpoint the shortcut control plus m helps the user to open a new blank presentation apply bold to the selected text select or center aligns the current selection or to insert a new slide what will be the answer okay let me answer that the option in this case is uh, to insert a new slide right actually it is a presentation program used to present data and information by using text diagrams animation and images and transitional effects in the form of slides right so the option is four right okay the next question is when working on an ms excel sheet to enter a formula in a cell what should come before the formula at the rate is equal to star or end i will not answer this question this is a quiz question for you please answer this because i have already answered uh, this question previous in the previous question right so please answer this okay the next question is in ms word ms powerpoint which key on the keyboard can be used to view can, uh, can be used to view slides so f1 f2 f5 or f10 okay just without any delay i am answering the question the correct option is f5 right f5 is used to view slides so right okay then the group b i mean the practice set 2 is started so the first question of practice set 2 is when you open a new excel workbook how many worksheets are there by default at the time of opening one three five or seven okay uh, i hope you have uh, tried to open the your workbook in your laptop or pc right okay let me answer that uh, the correct option in this case is three by default a new workbook contains three worksheets but you can change the number of worksheets that you want a new workbook to contain right so i hope you have got it okay the next question is how do you save a presentation under a new file name select the file name and choose save as or select the file menu and choose save and when you close powerpoint the file will automatically be saved or the file will automatically be saved under the new name when you change the title what will be the answer okay without any delay i am answering because this is very easy question without i mean just select the menu and choose save it is actually the function of control s right but it, this is not supposed to be done right so the to save the presentation under a new file name actually to give a new file name or in, to insert in, into a new folder right so we have to select the file and choose save as right okay the next question is which of the following is the correct keyboard shortcut to open save as dialog box in ms word f12 control plus b control f12 a alt control s what will be the correct option in this case okay actually we press control s to save the current document uh, immediately right and we press f12 to open the save as dialog box to save document with a specific file name or in a new folder right actually this is the quite relevant answer of the previous one as well right okay the next question is 
which command is used to hold row and column titles in place so that they uh, they do not scroll when you scroll a worksheet in MS Excel 2007 right so choose among the options given below right okay let me answer that the option will be fridge pens command on the view menu right actually what happens in MS Excel to hold row and column titles in places so that they do not scroll when you scroll a worksheet click the fridge pens command on the window menu and it will be okay right okay let's go to the next question that is dash option is not available in sales groups of home tab in ms excel 2007 so the correct answer in this case is sort right sort function sorts the content of a range of array right you can sort values one or more columns right okay the next question is which of the following features is used to apply motion effects in between slide effects site exits and another enters okay the answer is actually in this case will be slide transition right slide transitions are the effects that occur when you move from the one slide to the next during a presentation right okay the next question of this video is this in ms award which option divides the cell into several cells in a table merge cells split cells split table or auto fit the correct option in this case is split cells right in ms i mean microsoft word you can use the split cells option to divide a cell into multiple cells right okay the next question in this case will be guys again i am requesting you to please subscribe this channel and uh, watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus preparation or uh, Accenture ex cognitive assessment preparation, right? Link will be given in the description box. Please go through that, okay? So, the next question is which shortcut key is used to print a Word document, right? Control P, Control B, Control A, Control C, P. So, I hope you have uh, did you have done this in your home or in your area, right? So, the um, answer in this case is Control P. Right, to print a document we do control b to make a word selected word bold right and control a to select all the words in the document right and control c plus p is used to change the fonts right control c plus p is used to change the fonts right okay the next question in this session is which of the following shortcut key is used to paste the clipboard contents in an ms word document i will not answer that because this is the scenario which is already i mean we have been using right so i will not answer this please answer this in the comment section right okay the next question is a dash is pre-formatted container on a slide for content text graphics or video in ms powerpoint cascade watermark placeholder or macros okay let me answer that the correct option in this case is placeholder right Play, a placeholder is a pre-formatted uh, container right actually placeholder placeholders are usually a box with text that indicates the location font and size of type that the user will enter right and they appear in a rectangular shape when you select uh, the text option to write text right okay i hope you have a uh, little knowledge about placeholders okay the next question is which of the given options best matches the items of list one with the items of list two with reference to editing cells in our speed sheet okay just match them and give me the answer okay i hope you have tried to answer okay let me answer that I actually enter moves you to the next cell down yes one is correct with B and C plus B is actually correct with moves you to the next cell in the lip yes this is actually correct with this that means one is uh, corresponding to two B and two is corresponding to D and tab is actually corresponding to moves it to the next cell to the right yes this is actually corresponding to this a three is corresponding to a and the rest is arrow key is corresponding to c so the correct answer in this case will be option two right okay the next question is which among the following is not an addition of ms word 
2010, 2016, 2007, 2000, I mean 1900. What will be the correct answer in this case? Okay, let me answer. The option 4 is the correct option. That means 1900 edition is not available or the edition of MS Word, right? So I hope you have gathered a little knowledge about MS Word and its and common application, right? So if you think this was helpful to you, please subscribe this channel and please I am again requesting watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus or cognitive assessment preparation based videos that the link will be given in the description box, right? Okay, thank you for today's session.